there, welcome back. I'm going to share a couple of things I had um, an experience with blowing the shofar and uh, in a dream I'll share and they go together. So um, sometimes it's good to wait on a word because then you realize that um, you have more to it and you have uh, pieces that connect and make a better message uh, for the Lord. So we listen to him when he says hold off or, uh, or not put it out. So on June 26, I had the urge to blow the shofar and I hadn't blown it in a while and so I was just, you know, curious about why I was feeling this urge and so, but I obeyed the urge and I, I got it out and got it prepared, you know, got my heart right before the Lord and blew the shofar and it was such an exhilarating feeling and I just sat in that moment for a bit and then I went to the Word of God and I opened. Um, and he gave me an instant confirmation. He opened and riveted my eyes to Joel 2.1, where it says to blow a trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is coming. Surely it is near. And so the trumpet is blown for this time that the Lord has has called us into and all of the things must be fulfilled in order for him to return so it is a time of rejoicing and joy for all of those that are his children not a time of fear um, i'll link the one um, the video that i had regarding joel 2 and acts 2 together is called calamity and rescue and that was also joel 2 so i'll link it here in the description um, but the next uh, part of this video has to do with a dream that I had that is part of the fulfillment of the days of the Lord's coming. So I'll share this dream here and then I'll finish off the video with a couple of verses and I'll share that all in the description. So here's the dream. Quickly to share a dream I had on July 4th. So this was 7 4 24 and there's a few parts of the dream I don't recall so there's a couple elements that I'm going to share here. One, the first uh, that I remember was a 20 foot long speedboat that was uh, kind of an amphibian boat because it had wheels on it as well and they were racing this boat was racing around the parking lot and could go you know in and out of water and there was people and chaos you know kind of a chaotic scene like an event was happening and then it went into a movie studio lot so there was big warehouse buildings and trailers all along where I don't know if you've seen uh, movie lots or things but the trailers were are where the cast members and uh, actors can kind of hang out to be ready for their line call. So there was one particular trailer where I could see, it was almost um, like an observer inside of it, and I could see coffee cups on the floor and kind of just things kind of crumpled and th thrown all over and, you know, a shirt here and there. And so it was kind of like it would had been a, they'd been there for a while and there was a group of people and they were, um, you know, kind of just, like I said, hanging out, waiting for their call. And who I saw in the trailer was Obama and his team that was there. And there was a knock on the door to, that the call was now, that it was time to reveal. And so this was a big reveal, like the time is coming forward, that it's time for him to step back on the scene, that his call line for the production that's going to be played out is now. And so take that to the Lord and um, it's just one piece and part of, of all of those that are having dreams and if you're talking with the Lord please take this to him to ask for additional significance that might be helpful and so I just give all glory to the Lord and I seal this with the blood of Jesus and urge you to um, go forward and not delay on any plans or thoughts that you've had to prepare for this time. Go to the Lord and seek Him if you are unsure about your position, about what your plans are, what your list is to gather. It's my uh, feeling that we are, um, you know, have just very minimal time 
to uh, play those things out, to be obedient with the things that we've been given. So thank you for checking back, and if you have any comments on the dream or blowing the shofar or the word that I gave, feel free to leave them. We are all just pieces and parts, and it's all to the glory of God. I seal this video in the blood of Jesus, and I pray His protection, His strength, His renewing over you. Um, if you sit with the Lord long enough, you start to feel, actually feel a spiritual shift, and His pouring into you is amazing and it strengthens you um, in ways that you could never do yourself. And so I encourage you to take an extra moment today, maybe more than you have, and just an extra moment to thank Him and to sit with the Lord. And so I call and pray for protection over your family. I seal your family with the bloodline of Jesus Christ, and I cover this video with the bloodline, and no weapon formed against you will prosper in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.